Hey guys, hope you have a great day. Your buddy Tim back with another home tour and we are back in the city of Madison. Why are we in the city of Madison? Well, it's one of my favorite cities and there are some awesome homes on the market right now with Madison City available for buyers just like you. You know Madison, you've heard me talk about it on the video before. It is the preferred bedroom community of the city of Huntsville because of the schools. Got uh, one of the top rated school districts, not only in the state, but in the country. So families moving here, and there are a lot of families moving here who are uh, putting emphasis on schools are looking in Madison. So what we are seeing now are some really awesome properties coming on the market, just like this one. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Uh, we are at 108 Morning Vista Drive, City of Madison, Bob Jones School District. Uh, this is a huge executive home. Uh, it's been used as an Airbnb for the last couple of years, and now the owners are ready to let some deserving family have a, uh, have a go at it. So we have uh, 3,393 square feet, it's a big house, four bedrooms, four baths, open floor plan, great backyard. This home has a half court cement or concrete uh, basketball uh, set up out there. Now, I'm not one to play basketball. I'm short, I'm old, I've never been good at it, but a lot of kids and a lot of grown-ups love basketball. So if you would like to have your own half court in your backyard, you're gonna love this. So let me just kind of read what uh, we have here. Beautiful, full brick, open concept, executive home with custom details throughout. You're gonna see a lot of crown molding. You're gonna see a lot of granite in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, a really nice executive home. Four bedroom, three and a half bath, plus a bonus room, which could also be a fifth bedroom. Uh, downstairs study located in the front of the home, and we are in the Windstone subdivision. Now, Windstone is a smaller subdivision, only a couple of three streets here, and highly desirable because we, we are literally, and I always use that word, but literally centrally located. If we go 10 minutes to the west, Madison City. If we go 10 minutes to the east, Research Park, Bridge Street, all the shopping. If we go five minutes to the south, you can hit the interstate and be anywhere. So this home truly is uh, centrally located. Uh, you'll love the spacious covered patio. It is huge. It goes across the entire back of the house. Has a big screen TV out there. Um, flat grassy area, perfect for lawn games and the show-stopping half-court basketball pad for nightly game of pickup with the family. Now, I did play basketball with my girls when they were younger, just in the driveway, uh, but they quickly got better than me, so, so I stopped. Uh, but anyway, a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful house, gas log fireplace, the rooms are huge. It's only about 11, 12 years old. Uh, and it is really a nice executive home. So that's enough of me. Let's get the tour started, shall we? All right, guys, as we always do, we start at the foyer or the foyer, if you are formal. <laughs> so uh, this home has a really nice foyer. You're going to see the side lights here. A lot of natural light throughout this house. It's got the really tall windows. So you're going to see a lot of good lighting. But the foyer form comes in. The foyer. The foyer floor is hardwoods. Anyway, here is the entrance hall. You walk in and immediately you can tell that you are in a really nice executive home. So this is the view from the front door. If we go off to the right, we've got an office. And I really love this. It's got the glass doors, but it's also got the, uh, what did you call that? It's a, is it a trestle? Oh my gosh, transom, transom? <laughs> Maybe I should look up my definitions before there's some glass at the top. So, but check out the size of this office. This office is really large. Uh, paint looks really good in here. It's got the agreeable gray paint. And again, a lot of light. Got a good closet here. And then if we look from this, the, uh, it's got nine foot ceilings in here. So it looks really big. Look at the attention to detail. You know me, I love my crown molding, but when I see something like this above windows, it's really just an extra touch. And I think it speaks very highly of the craftsmanship that, uh, that went into this home. So 
You got the office on the right. If we go through, check out the columns in that header. Really nice. Large dining room. We got the wainscoting. Again, this is uh, the agreeable gray. The hardwood floors. Lots of natural light. You could fit a table of eight, eight to ten in here. And so we'll go to the kitchen in just a minute. That's the kitchen there. We're going to go on through here. Coat closet. Stairs going up. I like the fact that the stairs are offset to the right. I don't like coming into a house and the stairs are right there. I just don't like that. Uh, in case you are wondering what I like or not. So, all right, so we open it. All right, so we walk in, we've got an open floor plan here. This is the living room. Got a, a gas log fireplace there. Got shiplap on the, uh, the fireplace itself. And again, you got high ceilings, the crown molding, lots of light. Look at all these windows going along the back of the house. And outside of those windows, that entire area there, is a covered patio. So let me go back over here. So this is the view from the far corner. That's the foyer. This is the living room, breakfast nook, and the kitchen. And I really like this kitchen. It's got your painted cabinets granite countertops. I love the bar. I love this. It's a great way to divide the room without splitting it up. So you've got stainless steel appliances, you've got the fridge, the uh, stove with a gas cooktop, microwave, and this goes out onto the patio. We'll go out there in just a few minutes. I want to lead you this way first though and give you the view of the kitchen. Nice spacious kitchen, a lot of uh, open, uh, openness. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with my, <laughs> my mouth today. I, uh, I try to talk and nothing happens. So what was it Curly on the Three Stooges said? I, I try to think and nothing happens. It's kind of the way I feel today, but really nice kitchen, open floor plan. And then we go back through here to the dining room foyer where we came from. Really large walk-in pantry. Nice, got a lot of room here. There's a window in the pantry, so you've got lots of light. Nice, I like it. And then down this way, we have a half bath. And then a large laundry. I love this laundry room. I know it's silly, but I used to have a really cramped laundry room. Not fun. And look at that. It's a laundry chute from upstairs. How about that? We had a laundry chute in one of my old houses, and one day I caught Sierra and uh, a cousin attempting to repel <laughs> down the laundry chute. I want to show you this garage, just because it is large. All right, so check out the space you've got here. This is a three-car garage, but you've also got workshop space. Pretty big. I mean, this is a, an industrial garage. Got a large hot water heater. It's got the expansion tank already, which is nice. But you could easily fit multiple vehicles in here and still have plenty of room for, uh, for a workshop. So, all right. So let's go ahead and go upstairs and then we'll go outside once we're done there. So when you get to the top of the stairs, the master is immediately to the left. And it is a large bedroom. Why don't you check out how big this is. Really easily get a king size bed in here, dresser, TV, the whole nine yards. It's got a tray ceiling, it's got the lighting in the ceiling. Carpet up here. Now this is the uh, master closet. Let me get the light on here. All right. It's about the size of my first apartment. You can walk all the way through. It's got good shelving. Truly a walk-in closet. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out the master bath. All right, let me get the lights on here. So here is the master bath. You've got double vanity. Looks like his, uh, is that uh, quartz countertops. Sometimes I can't tell. Got a soaker tub again with good lighting there. Water closet here, or as my mom would call it, the shitter. 
<laughs> and then you've got a shower there. So, nice master bath. Let's go check out the other bedrooms. And you don't realize how big this house is until you come upstairs and start turning on lights. So, bedroom number two. Got a little pink paint here with some, uh, looks like beadboard there. Little girl's room. And it does have a uh, connecting bath. You can see we've got a vanity here, vanity on the other side. And then in the middle, we do have a full bath. Really nice. Bedroom number three, again, good size. I think these bedrooms are 12 by 12. Something like that. Yeah, let's go on down to the bonus. It's been half my life turning the lights on and off. All right, so if we go back here, we've got a more secluded area. Got a uh, full bath there, double vanity, which is always nice. You're not gonna get in each other's way. Another bedroom up here, agreeable gray paint. Good size, so this would be a good mother-in-law suite, teenage suite, because basically it's like having your own bedroom, bathroom. All right, and then let's go take a look at this bonus room. Here we go. So this could be your uh, bonus room, media room, that is attic storage. Lots of closets in this house, double closet in here. So this could be the fifth bedroom or it could be a media room, it could be a playroom, it could be whatever you wanted it to be. Good size though. And again, you, you don't realize how big the house is until you get up here and you have to walk all the way down that hallway to get to the bedroom. So, all right, let's go back downstairs. We'll go check out the backyard. All right, guys, we are back downstairs. We're gonna go take a look at the backyard. I can already hear a lawnmower. So we may not be able to get some uh, much audio, but we will be able to get a look at how amazing this is. We've got a covered patio, half court basketball pad, nice yard, so let's check it out. All right, so right out the door, you've got this little cubby spot here. It does have a shade you could pull down when the sun's out, but I want you to take a look at the backyard. There is the basketball court. And again, pickleball, I think. And you still got enough yard here. Take a look at this covered patio. Isn't this nice? Give you the view back here. There's the initial patio. And then here is the covered area. Ooh, it's so much cooler in the shade. Summer is about to hit Alabama big time. So let me give you a, a look here. So look at all this covered patio area that you have. Got the shades you can pull down if you wanted to, but just look what a giant covered patio. Give you a look at the yard. I am glad it's finally warmed up. It's been really, really cold lately. It's a very odd winter, so. All right, so take a look at the yard. You've got a lot of yard here. Check out that covered patio. I'd spend a lot of time out there. And then if you like to play basketball, pickleball, wiffle ball, four square. <laughs> Isn't this nice? I would imagine a lot of basketball games have been played on that concrete. So, all right. So really beautiful house in the city of Madison. So. Let's go back inside, we'll do a wrap up. All right guys, I told you it was a great house, didn't I? So much room in this house. You know, we've got 3,393 square feet, honestly. The way the bedrooms are upstairs, they're all so big. To me, it looks a lot bigger. So uh, let's recap. We are at 108 Morning Vista Drive, City of Madison, Bob Jones School District. We are in the Windstone subdivision, which is again, centrally located 10 minutes either way. You are either in Madison, Research Park, shopping, restaurant row, what have you. Um, just a wonderful floor plan, open floor plan. The kitchen, we've got 
painted cabinets. We've got stainless steel appliances. We've got granite countertops. Got a wonderful pantry here. We've got an Eden kitchen, uh, Eden area here with a formal dining room, living room back there. We've got that office. Uh, down the hallway here, we've got the bathroom. We've got a huge laundry room, big three-car garage. Don't forget out back. We've got a, just a wonderful backyard privacy fence, a lot of grass, but then it has that half-court pad, half pad if you want to play uh, a basketball. I think I would turn that into like a wiffle ball or a pickleball. That's more appropriate with me. Um, upstairs, we have all of these wonderful bedrooms. We've got a huge master, the lovely ensuite with all the amenities there. Uh, even the small bedrooms in this house are large bedrooms. So anyway, an executive home, Heart of Madison. Now we're priced at $575. That is an amazing price for this. That's only $168, $169 a square foot, City of Madison. Hard to find anything in that price range. So again, a wonderful executive home, like new, you're really going to love this. So if you would like more information about uh, this home, 108 Morning Vista Drive, let me know. Drop it in the comments below. You could email me, Tim at Revolve. And as always, you can give me a call. My contact information is below. So, but don't uh, mess around. The market here is heating back up. We are seeing homes go quickly. We're seeing some multiple offers again, so things are going to heat up. Hey guys, I appreciate your time. Don't forget, if you like what we do here on the channel, give us a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, click the little bell notification icon. And if you are looking at relocating here, you know, we work with folks all the time now who find us through this YouTube channel, looking to relocate here for work, for school, for retirement. Uh, doesn't matter, we are here to help you. We've got Revolved Realty, almost 100 agents now ready to go to work for you. And if you are already here and you have a home to sell or you would like our assistance, uh, do not hesitate to reach out. We'd love to work with you whether you're here or not. So, all right guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the home tour. We'll talk to you soon.